Today on All Things 80s, how to make a new sunroof for your mask volcano van. Welcome back to All Things 80s. Now, I recently did a video showing my new mask volcano, and in that video, I explained that the sunroof was broken. It has two clips which hold it in place, and sadly, one of the clips is completely gone, broken off, missing, and as a result, the sunroof would not stay in place. Now, I was trying to think of a way I could fix this, and there were some suggestions online about making a new one from a CD case. Another good suggestion was there are little coffee mugs for Lego minifigures, and the handle of that little coffee mug is almost the exact same as that, so the idea would be cutting off the handle of the mug and gluing it in place here. I thought, what if I made an entire new sunroof? So, I've been experimenting a little bit with resin casting and making molds from silicone. To be honest, it's been mostly disastrous, but I thought, let me give this a go. So let me show you what it was I did that allowed me to come up with a fully functioning sunroof that not only fits perfectly, it actually looks really good. So the first step in creating your new sunroof for the volcano is to take the original broken sunroof and using some double-sided tape, just tape it down to a piece of foam board and that will form the basis of the mold that we end up creating from liquid silicone. So I'm just making sure it's pressed down as flat as possible. And once I've done that, I then have to create a new clip. So I'm just using some modeling clay and I'm sort of very roughly trying to copy what is on the other side. And I could probably do a much better job next time, but this was the first time doing it and the results are pretty good. And for this, um, I just ended up rolling a small piece of clay to try and emulate that sort of cylindrical shape on the other side. And once that's done, it's then a case of building up the walls of the mold using more foam board and then pouring in the liquid silicone and letting that cure overnight. So to demold this, simply a case of ripping off the foam board. And as you will see, the original sunroof has left an imprint in the silicone and that will be our mold. So to get that out, it's very simple. You just, you know, bend the silicone, take out the original, and you will see that the clay used to make the new clip gets left behind, but that is very easily taken care of with the help of a little toothpick. So I'm just scooping out the excess clay there. And finally, I need to sort of trim any excess silicone that had uh, formed uh, during the curing process. Very simple to do. So now that the mold is ready, I've mixed up some clear resin and in order to give it a slight tint, I'm adding some black dye. Now, it will look like I've used way too much dye. The fact is, once it's poured, we're pouring a very thin layer. Um, in actual fact, this first one I did didn't have enough dye, believe it or not. But pouring the, uh, pouring the resin, doing it very carefully, very slowly, so as not to create too many air bubbles, you know, it can't be helped. And I'm just sort of maneuvering the resin to make sure it gets into every little nook and cranny. And to help with that, I'm using a toothpick just to one, pop some of the larger air bubbles, but two, also just help maneuver the resin into every little nook and cranny. And I think at this point, it was reasonably bubble free, which is obviously what you want, because if you don't get rid of these bubbles, you will have a pretty bad looking uh, sunroof for your volcano. And finally, just to get rid of every last little bubble, using a lighter to pop those bubbles. Now, I let this cure for two days, and after two days, very simple to demold, just sort of manipulate the silicone and the sunroof will pop out. And as you can see, it's come out and it looks pretty damn good. And from my first attempt, I am very happy. 
So that is how to make a new sunroof for the Mask Volcano. And whilst it's not perfect, it's pretty good and I am very happy with it. Now I will be keeping hold of the original and I'll keep it in the box, even though it is pretty useless. And I'm so happy that this one actually functions as intended. So when I do the transformation, not only does it stay in place, it actually opens as it should and stays open. And then when I close it back, I can flip it back and it's perfect. Even the little handle works to lift it so that I could not be happier. And I'm just amazed that I did this because normally when I try my hand at something crafty, it always ends in disaster. But for once I got a nice result. So hope you found that interesting and thank you all for watching with special thanks going out to the patrons. Please like, please subscribe. And as always, stay tuned for more videos from All Things 80s.